Whew, yeah, Last Man Standing is a very kind of dark family song, if you like. Um, I came up with a chord sequence which, in its basic form, sounded to me a lot like late 70s Joe Jackson, um, or leaning towards Todd Rundgren with these kind of odd kind of bass lines against the, the root note chord. Um, sounds overly complicated, it's not really. But um, it was a very moody piece of music, and I, you know, obviously I wasn't going to write something that was all happy jolly. So it needed something that um, really grabbed you from the second I opened my mouth. And I just, once I had this lyric, you know, um, God took an ax to my family tree. Some things don't feel so godly to me. I just thought, woof. Even I was getting goosebumps thinking, my goodness, that's, I haven't written that. I've just pulled it out of the air. This is just a beautiful line. And I had to make sure that the rest of the song stood up to that. So. It was all about, you know, being the last man standing before I fall. Again, I love that juxtaposition of opposites, you know. It's got a lot of great imagery, and that's important to me. The imagery is, needs to be uh, to the forefront. It obviously needs to rhyme, because I'm not one of these guys that, that tries to avoid rhyme to be clever, but try and use it to the best of your ability and still get the message across. Then you, and if it's got great diction and phonetically friendly phrasing, you've got all all, all angles covered with the lyric, so I was very proud of that one when I got it finished, and it's one song that seems to resonate with a lot of people when they hear it. Yeah. 